I'm Brittany Baylin, and today I'm going to be transforming into Mistress Head with the help of some special effects makeup. Be sure to stay tuned after the tutorial to see an awesome movie clip featuring the finished look. Let's get into the video. First we use 99% alcohol to clean the skin and place a couple of clips to hold back my hair. In order to attach the prosthetic piece, we will need to apply Pros Aid directly to the back of the appliance and a little bit on my forehead. We continue with the Pros Aid all around the prosthetic. The goal is to try to eliminate the seam by going right along the edges, right where the prosthetic meets the skin. Bobbi Brown Finishing Powder helps to give a solid working base. Next, we apply Bobbi Brown Foundation all over the piece so that it matches the skin tone. Spritz a little bit of water onto a matte chromo cake in white, then stipple the color all over my face to blend. Switching to a brush helps to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Next, we mix two MAC pigments, teal and golden olive, to do a little bit of shading. For this, you really want to follow along the sunken in areas of the prosthetic and the eyes. This will help create some dramatic depth that will really make the details in the prosthetic pop. Then, going in with a chip brush that you can get at any craft store, dip into a wet MAC purple crumble cake and do what is called a flecking process. This technique helps to blend in the prosthetic even more. Smashbox's eyeshadow in lime is perfect for the base for my scales. To start, you simply make little circles. Next, Estee Lauder's eye pencil in emerald is used to outline the circles, add detail, and create depth. It helps to go in with a small brush and blend the eye pencil as you go. Now we use the Noir color in the Smashbox Double Exposure Eye Palette to darken the eye creases even more. Bobbi Brown Gel Liner in Black Ink used with a fine tip brush is perfect for the final layer of the scales. This really helps to make the green stand out and add the last bit of depth needed to make the scales look much more realistic. Next, we use the same gel liner to create a sunken crease just under the prosthetic. This line is then winged out to add more drama. Then, we use the MAC pigment in Golden Olive again, this time to cover my eyelid and go over a few of the scales. Switching back to MAC pigment in Teal, we create a bold line under my eyes. As a primer for the lips, we use Bobbi Brown Foundation in Warm Beige. Next. We use the MAC Teal Pigment as a soft liner, allowing it to blend inward, adding color to the lip. Finally, we use the Black Ink Liner by Bobbi Brown to give it a solid outline. Take you out on dinner and a date, so it's close enough. Yeah, I see you're a good man. Ah. You are. You just wish your, wish your parents would agree with me sometimes. Mm, I don't know if that's going to happen. No, maybe not. It's hard to find guys like you. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get them all? You got them, babe. Let's go see that movie. Okay. That was 
everything. Thank you so much for watching, and please let us know if you have any other movie looks you would like us to recreate. Please leave them in a comment down below, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the I Love Makeup channel, and we hope to see you back here soon. Bye!